MCU is apparently going to change direction. Uh, allegedly, oh, there's a lot of uh, problems, I think is a good way to put it. Uh, they're cutting back on content. Uh, there's a lot apparently happening. We don't know the validity and all the rumors and everything. Again, make it what you will. But we're going to be getting less content and better content. So um, I think that's good, right? Good? Because I, I will say, I will... You know, I love the MCU. I don't love I everything love the they've MCU done. Too. But, like, there's problems with the MCU that I can admit to. CG and overworking everybody to the point where everything looks like it's a TV budget. Even, dude, there are scenes in Love and Thunder that I would be ashamed to put on a Disney original show. It is that bad. Like, it is... Like, Armin, I agree, because... Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness ain't a good-looking film either. Oh, there is Just, some... No. Ooh, look. Like, because, I mean, like, no lie. That was... that. I believe that was the first time they showed the Avatar 2 trailer. Mind you, I saw this movie in 3D IMAX. Uh -huh. I, saw the, I saw the 3D trailer for Avatar 2. You know, I'm not a big Avatar fan, but I was like, oh, my God, the 3D yeah. is amazing. And then you go to the 3D of Multiverse of Madness. I told my friend, I was like, well, I was like, what happened? Yeah. I was like, what is this? <laughs> no, there is. Look, I, I mean, again, I've said it before. Multiverse of Madness and the Batman are my favorite films of the year. I love both of those. But mm -hmm. I will not sit here and try to say that Multiverse of Madness does not have some. I, I, I want to say, sh like, bad shoddy cg no just garbage cg there is some yeah. bad scenes in there and again look marvel studios has we know they they are spread way too thin there's too many things going on it is a it's a miracle that they put out as many projects as they did in the last couple of years like it's just been oversaturated like i'll say it you I, know i, I, I agree because because in our in our comic book group um when they shared the, how can I say? They shared like an image. They was like, "Oh, here's my, here's my top Phase Four projects." And it was like, "Yo, this is like almost twenty projects yeah. from Phase Four. Yeah. I was like, "This is too much." It, I was like, "I barely remember what happened in Phase Four anymore." Yeah. And the funny thing is, somebody was like, "Hey, I mean, post your list." So I was like, "Okay, let me go make my list." And I made it and I posted. They were like, "Bro, you forgot six projects." I was like, "What the hell did I forget?" And then I looked at it. I was like, "Oh my god." Like, no, there is way too much Phase 4. I will criticize it clearly because I think they've had their share of problems and issues and everything that's going on. And again, it's not all, like, bad, but I do believe that they do need to cut it back, and I'm glad that they will. But there is also this... People are spinning the narrative, being like, oh, Bob Iger doesn't like the wokeness. That's why it's like, bro... Oh Bob Iger God. was there when they greenlit Captain Marvel, Black Panther, Miss Marvel. He was the one pushing for them. So Bob like, Iger is Mr. Woke. <laughs> yeah, look, he's literally the one that was there. So It's Chapek. <laughs> yeah, Chapek's the one you want to... Uh, that's the one that should be getting all the blame, and rightfully so, is to be blamed. And again, I think that there is um, a lot of things happening with Marvel right now that are worth looking at and taking notes, because... They got a little too big too quick, in my opinion. And they kind of like, they know that they weren't challenged. Because who was going to challenge them? The DCEU? Like, come on. You know? Real, yeah, realistically, if we're, if we're like not talking about like nerd fandom, if we're talking about like Hollywood as a whole, there literally, there's literally hasn't been like an actual competition for the MCU, whether people like it or not. Because for example, you got like people on social media is like, "Oh, the film didn't hit a billion dollars. It's a flop." I'm like, "Bro, it's like there's a lot of films that can't even get close to 500 million." Black Adam, like, come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, look, we know that the goalpost for the MCU is four times any other film. Like, mm -hmm. remember, Doctor Strange in a Multiverse of Madness this year is still being hailed as a failure, despite making over 850 million. Like, in what world, it made 3.5 times Black Adam, and it's a failure. I'm like, it doesn't... I get their different standard, but again, different perception, right? Like, uh, it's it's crazy. So now, so now, question for you, if regarding, like, cutting off 
like content we're on in the MCU, what would you knock out? What would you knock out the series or or the movies? Would you want a balance of both? Okay. Two two or two so, special presentations now? I don't know. <laughs> so looking at it right now, you know, like my giant list of uh things because I keep like a giant list of everything that's in development and going on. Mm-hmm. You know, I think they already made one smart choice. Armor Wars too big. Put that into a film. Smart. I yep. think they are honestly going to assess this whole thing and look at it realistically and look at the whole situation and go, guys, we can't put out four movies and six TV shows a year because it's oversaturated. It's too much. Yep. So I think you're just going to see a natural bump back instead of like four movies a year. We're going to get three movies a year and three to four shows. So there's enough time because like, Again, I talk about this and people still don't believe me. I am a Star Wars diehard. More of my house is covered in Star Wars than Marvel or anything else. Mm -hmm. I have still yet to watch Andor because it came out when so much other things were going on and happening that I haven't got a chance to start it because, like, there's too much TV and too many movies, and I I actively know people who are still diehard Marvel fans. Mm -hmm. They're still catching up one of my best friends just now started Loki. That's how far behind he is because there's so much TV and movies. Like, it's... It, there's too much content. They're going to, I think, spread it out. I don't think they cancel a whole lot, but I think you just kind of like, hey, remember how we announced the next two phases? We're going to add another, I don't know, eight months to that and spread it out a little bit more. Because, like, if you look at 2026, <clears throat> there was five movie dates. Five movie dates. Yeah, that, that, that's insane. And that's before they that's before they took what's it called Secret Wars and bumped it back into the next year. There was that's too much. All because uh, of Blade. All all because of Blade has the power, man. It's the Blade Techno. That's that's what's happening. So yeah, uh, I, I would I would even suggest just you know stick with the special presentations because like they did what it's been like two already and yeah. and two like knocked it out of the park. I was like, look. If you got if you could knock out a good storytelling in like less than an hour, mm-hmm. I'll be perfectly fine. Yeah. Cause sometimes six episodes don't even feel like six episodes. You, you guys be like, here's an hour episode, it's just ten minutes for so, that, just make them special presentation. Could you imagine if the holiday special was a series? No. Episode one, Peter is sad. Episode two, let's come up with a plan. Episode three. We go to Earth and go to a nightclub and pass out on the street. Episode four, Chase Kevin, Kevin Bacon. Bacon. On the phone. <laughs> yep. And then episode five, here's the They're meeting. Talking on the ship. Yeah, talking on the <laughs> ship, and Peter says, "Thanks for this Christmas present." Like, bro, no. Like, yeah. They need to reevaluate that. So I'm glad that they're going to change direction and like analyze everything because it's needed. It is. As a diehard fan, I can tell you there's too much going on and <laughs> they need to take a step back. So, it's... yeah, if it, if it, if if the MCU is already having me question like, bro, do I have to watch all these TV yeah. shows and movies? Like that's that's how you know. I was like, look, it's starting to get a little bit too much for me right now. Uh-huh. Agreed. Agreed. So, there we go. We wanted to just talk a little bit about Marvel changing directions and all that and we'll talk more about it as we get more news, but it's probably going to happen next investors call when we get Bob Iger on that phone and he's talking. Oh, that's Papa when we'll Iger. talk about. Yeah. What once Papa Iger drops the uh, bombshells on what's changing, we'll talk 